through is uh, on uh, the left hand side is what I'm going to call the V-Sync monitor. This is a traditional ASUS gaming monitor and for this demo we have all of the uh, monitors set up the same. So it's the same GPU. These are uh, GTX 760s in both PCs. They're both uh, running the same CPU. Uh, it's, it's basically the same systems built by the same system builder. All of them are running Windows 7 and they're all using uh, the same driver. Now on the left hand side is the vSync <laughs> monitor we're going to be running in traditional mode. Really, yeah. On the right hand side is the G-Sync monitor and you can tell because it's got a gigantic green G-Sync <laughs> thing on it. Okay, you cannot get this wrong. So the way we're going to do it is we're going to start off with a demo that NVIDIA has, has developed. So I'd like you all to launch Fraps uh, and on both the vSync side and the G-Sync side, make sure that Fraps is ready and iconify uh, Fraps. And then I'd like on the, the vSync side, please launch the demo. Just on the vSync side. <coughs> now go ahead and click on the vSync button. We're going to start off in vSync mode. And I want you to hit a zero and then hit a one. And now hit a six for me. Now what this uh, demo does, it's designed by NVIDIA, and it's a very simple example demo. It's a pendulum. <coughs> okay, now what a pendulum does is it moves smooth. And what you can tell is just like Jensen said, when graphics are working as designed, you get a silky, kind of buttery feel, right? Yep, oh sorry. So if you look here, this is when the GPU is rendering very quickly. And we're rendering very quickly and showing it on a vSync display and you're not seeing any tearing and any stutter. This is what I'll call <coughs> traditional vSync perfection. Okay, now what I want everybody to do is hit a five. Now what the five does in this application, we actually have a timing loop built into the application so we can control the render time. And when we hit a five, what we did is added some extra load into the GPU cycle, and the frame <coughs> rate is now 50. So we started off perfect, where we were rendering about every 16 milliseconds, a little bit faster, and now we're rendering about every 20 milliseconds. And what that leads to, this is actually a triple buffered uh, demo, so what this is leading to is uh, occasionally you're not able to keep up with the refresh rate. And so occasionally on the left-hand side, what you'll notice is this strange pulsing. And, I, and that is exactly what Jensen was talking about, that stutter. Now, uh, just to make it super clear, let's go ahead and hit a six again. Okay, this is what it should look like. It should look nice and smooth, okay? But then hit a five, and this is when it starts stuttering, okay? 50 frames a second. Most everybody thinks that 50 frames a second is great. And almost everybody thinks that you can't tell the difference between 50 and 60. Well, let me tell you, you are completely uh, wrong. Okay. <laughs> now go ahead and hit a four. Now what the four does is that's a little bit more timing load and we're now running at 40 frames a second. So at this point, we're uh, rendering uh, you know, a little bit slower. The GPU is a little bit busier and the frame rate is now a little bit slower and we're a little bit more out of sync with the monitor. Okay, so it's very clear that there's something going on and it's not right. It's sad, it's tragic, because the pendulum's beautiful and uh, it just doesn't look that great on a, on a V-Sync monitor. So to make it super clear, what I want to do now is let that sit and on the G-Sync side, go ahead and launch the application. Now what's happening here is we're running at the same <coughs> refresh rate, uh, our max refresh rate, and I'd like you guys to go ahead and hit a six, and then hit a zero, and then hit a one. Now we're in vSync mode, and we're running at 60 frames a second. And it's actually, now can you guys synchronize, hit, hit a one on both guys at the same time? So you're looking at, <coughs> I'm sorry, you're looking at 40 frames a second on the left, and 60 frames a second, as you would expect. The G-Sync monitor looks really good. The 40 frames a second does not look that great. Let's go ahead and hit a six on both sides. Okay, so now they should look identical. They're both rendering perfectly. Take it in, this is what perfect animation looks like, right? But the best part is hit a five. 
So what's happening here is on the left-hand side, you're seeing that stutter that we already saw. Does everybody see that on the left-hand side? It's pretty stunning. On the right-hand side, G-Sync is active. And what's happening is the monitor is no longer updating at 60 frames a second. It's no longer running 60 hertz on the right-hand side. It's actually running 50 hertz. And just soak it in. It's, it's such a dramatic <coughs> difference uh, that I cannot imagine playing any other way. We have two identical systems, one here on the right, and there's one on the left, traditional gaming monitor. I'm sorry, go ahead, go ahead. No, 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 go ahead. Just kidding, just kidding. But anyway, I think, I think uh, everybody can uh, hopefully tell the difference. The, the V-Sync monitor is doing that s subtle syncopation. So let's go ahead and hit a four. Okay, so now what's happening on the four, again on the G-Sync side, you're now at 40 hertz on the monitor, and you're at 40 FPS in the game, and the animation is perfect. You are perfectly in sync, perfect harmony between the GPU and the monitor. Now on the left-hand side, on the V-Sync side, what you're seeing is again that, that, that syncopated, less than perfect, kind of sucky experience, right? That we're all used to. It's terrible. Yeah, it's not great. Um, and I hope you can all see it, right? Is it all clear? It's, it's a phenomenon that's fundamental, as Jensen was saying, right? There's nothing that a traditional monitor can do with this. But, uh, but G Sync actually is now making the monitor a slave to the GPU. As soon as the GPU finishes rendering, the monitor updates yeah, the frame DB. in perfect DB. sync. Yeah. Hopefully you guys can see that. So let's go ahead and uh, take the next step. Now, uh, as you know, games have variable frame rates. So this is a fixed frame rate right now, but games are even more complicated because the frames are going to increase and they're going to decrease. So we actually built that into the tool. There's a slider on the top that's called, let me take a look at it. I'm sorry? Uh, V-Sync, oh yeah, we're going to do, well yeah, we're going to do V-Sync off. So on the left hand side, some people actually say, all right, well I know V-Sync on is not an acceptable experience. So I'm going to turn V-Sync off. So what I'd like everybody to do on the left hand side, on the V-Sync monitor, go ahead and click the button to turn V-Sync off. Okay, now what's interesting about this is not only do you get the benefit of tearing, but you also still have stutter. If you're looking at the V-Sync off side, You'll see that little line coming through, that's tearing. Um, but you, you still notice this syncopation, right? There's still something not right with the basic animation. And it's a little bit complicated to explain it, maybe we'll cover it in the one-on-ones, but your monitor still has a fixed refresh rate, and the content is still a variable rate, so it's obviously gonna have some kind of synchronization problem. Now the best part is, people think that a higher frame rate makes this look better. So what I'd like to do now, on the left-hand side first, go to the frame time minimum slider and slide it up to slightly underneath the M in min. Okay, now what this does is, I, I told you we have a load that we're adding into the GPU, and what this slider does is it makes that load vary. So now we're gonna vary the frame rate between 45 and about 60 frames a second on the, on the V-Sync side. And what you'll see is that tear line is gonna move around. It's actually varying about 500 milliseconds. It's shifting from the max to the min, and it's doing it over and over and over with a period of 500 milliseconds. Now what you're seeing is the animation is less smooth, and the tearing is actually more distracting. On the right-hand side, now I'd like you to do the same thing. Slide the minimum frame time slider to the middle underneath the M. And what's super cool right now, you guys should be having a wow moment. At least I am, I'm having a personal epiphany. <laughs> this is amazing because now you're seeing a variable frame rate in the GPU and you're actually seeing a variable refresh rate on the monitor. So what happens is the monitor's refresh rate is changing dynamically in sync with the GPU. You can see that frame rate on the upper right where it's varying between 45 and 60. What's happening is the monitor is refreshing in sync between 45 and 60. Okay, so you, sh you should right now be going, wow. 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 <laughs> I'm gonna guide you through your experience. 
Okay. So uh, I personally get so excited when I see this because it's so it's so clear. It's so obviously the right thing to do, right? Your your monitor should be updating in under control of your GPU, and there shouldn't be any synchronization error because it destroys the immersion of the game. It makes the experience very very distracting. Okay, so I think we can take it up a notch. Let's go ahead and let this thing remain variable, but I'd like you to back out, to go ahead and click on the mouse the zooming button and back out of the, uh, of the scene a little bit. You'll guys see this is actually a gazebo. And you can see the, the, the columns on the left and the right. Um, and what I'd like the, the, guy, the demo guys to do is go ahead and add a little bit of camera rotation to this. So slide it underneath the S and we'll see the, the monitor, kind of the camera rotate a little bit. And now what's happening, if you look at this, is the animation on the right is still varying the frame rate between 40 and 60. On the left, it's still varying the same frame rate, but what you should be seeing is those columns are really painful to watch, right? But on the right-hand side, what's amazing is you can actually track the text on that little guy. You can actually see fluid motion. You can see beautiful graphics. I mean, it, it, it really does dramatically affect your experience. I think even perhaps Damien is going to get this one, but I don't know. We'll see. <laughs> <laughs> we'll see. You know, I, I'm not sure yet. He's right here. I'm, wa I'm watching him. <laughs> okay. So uh, this is, uh, this is I think, pretty compelling. I want you all just to suck it up, take it in a little bit, enjoy it. I'm going to shut up. Suck it up. Suck it in. Suck it in. Suck it in. Suck it in. <laughs> just think how much more we as developers could put on the screen if we weren't constantly solving for the 30 or 60 problem. Right? I mean, you know, people go, we want way more stuff, way more stuff. Well, fine, but you, you get way, way, way more stuff with a drop in frame rate. Well, guess what? This eliminates 